What up, Mitchu? For today's video, we be full Garchomp team. Chegasaurus, this one is for you. So I'll be using six Garchomps with six different movesets, and I'll be covering both of its abilities, Sand Veil and Rough Skin as well. I come up with some pretty fun movesets, and I had some really cool battles this team, so I hope you enjoy. If you want your own custom theme team or Pokemon Sweep, you can check it out at patreon.com slash night. That's for tier two and above. Let's get into both of the two battles today with the Garchomp team, and I hope you enjoy. All right, this first battle, this is against our Time Man, and this was a pretty interesting battle because we have a specific theme team. So I wonder if you can guess what it is. Let me know in the comment section. And of course, people, if you do enjoy the videos, please drop a like. That only takes a second and does really help me out. And it helps you out too, because that means you'll be able to see the uh, videos in your subscriptions. Okay, so we got a Stoutland lead here. I like Stoutland. It's a really cool Pokemon. I've got this real scummy guard trump here. I've got uh, Scale Shot, and I've got Stomping Tantrum, Iron Head, and Jewel Chop. I've got Jolly Nature, and I've got Max Speed and Max Special Attack EVs, and I've got the items King's Rock, and I've got the ability Rough Skin. So what happened is I missed a Scale Shot, and I was like, man, I can go for a double base power Stomping Tantrum. Stoutland ate that like a snack. Like, I was really, really surprised that it lived it so well. So, maybe it's like a bulky uh, sort of build. So, I've got some rough skin damage here. I just went for an Iron Head here to finish off the Stoutland or in case there was a swap. Stoutland managed to live there and gets a reversal off and takes my Guard Chomp out. But Guard Chomp took it out with the rough skin. In hindsight, I probably should have gone for a stopping tantrum there. But I did think they may swap into another Pokemon. So, uh, it's a double KO to start this battle off, my friends. Now, the next Pokemon, well, it's a Garchomp. I probably should have uh, labeled these Garchomp 1, 2, 3, 4. But anyway, it's, it's cool. I've still got the moves there. Uh, next Pokemon we got here. How do I say this? Uh, Mel Melty Gemini is the uh, Zwellios. So I've got this uh, pretty interesting set. So it's a Twister Garchomp. Only on Peter Rush Channel, by the way. Uh, I've got Twister, Sandstorm, Dragon Breath, and Mud Slap. I've got the EV spread as Tip of Nature and Max Special Attack. I've got Bright Powder as the item, and the ability is going to be Sand Veil. So what I'm going to be doing is getting that Sandstorm up and relying on Bright Powder and Sand Veil and Mud Slap all at the same time. So it's super, super scummy, right? Now, I was thinking about going for a Twister for a bit. I was like, nah, I'm going to see if I can get some uh, you know, some misses. It would be really cool. It may even be a Hustle set too, so that will be even funnier. So go for Mud Slap there, dropping the Axe on the uh, Zuelios, hoping it's going to miss. And it's a special set. I was like, oh, no. Here comes the Dragon Breath. And wow, damn, it did a lot of damage to so, like, Okay, something's got to give here, people. I got critted by that too, obviously. I, I think they're probably running something like Focus Sash. Uh, not Focus Sash. Um... Focus Energy, they, which they are used, and Scope Lens. It may not be Scope Lens, it may be Everlight, but um, it's got a decent chance of critting now. So I'm popping that Twister, hoping for a flinch, yeah? And I get a lot of damage on these Zuelios, and I actually get a miss on Dragon Breath. I don't get a flinch, so I was like, really, really good, because now I can finish off with any attacking move. I can just finish off with the Twister. I guess that kind of makes up for the start there, getting trolled by that Stoutland on one health there on Merch of the Babel. So that's the end of the uh, Zuelios. I actually quite like Swirly else's shine. It looks good. The uh, the green and black looks nice in that purple, very uh, I don't know, saturated purple underbelly. Next Pokemon that we got is the uh, Surf Edge. I just went for a twist. I was like, let's see if we get some flinch here. I've still got Bright Power and Sand Veil. We might get a few misses. And it's got Rock Smash. And you know, Rock Smash is actually no joke, I'm telling you. And that's going to take out my guard chop there. Now, Rock Smash has a 50% chance to drop your defense too. So I don't want to be sticking around too long in this matchup. Next Pokemon. Well, it's another guard chop. And this guard chop set is going to be a. Oh, this set. This is a Stealth Rock Sandstorm Dig and Toxic set. Now, this guard chop is meant to work in uh, tangent with the another guard chop on my team, which I haven't shown yet. Let me go over what the uh, EV spread. So I've got max health and max speed, Jolly Nature. Ability is going to be Sand Veil and Smooth Rock as the item. So I can extend out that Sandstorm from five turns to eight turns. This also works well with some of my other guard trumps like the previous one because I can set the Sandstorm up right and then bring it in. Uh, this uh, Surfetch is doing a fair bit of damage to me. This doesn't really have like, you know, amazing offense moves. I think I only gave it like Toxic and Dig and that sort of thing. So I just did as much damage as I can to the Surfetch as possible. Then I could simply bring another guard trump in and finish this off. I mean, it's not like Surfetch is going to be out to outspeed me or anything like that either. So I uh, got some pretty good damage there from the Dig and all the Sandstorm damage. Dig does really nice, but it doesn't quite take it out, which is okay. Uh, Rock Smash is going to be able to finish me off here, which is fine. I like running Rock Smash on Dynamax Pokemon. It's very, 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 very mean. Now, the next Pokemon I can bring in here 
I was thinking about bringing the uh, phasing one in, but I'll get to that in a second. We're going to be bringing in the... Oh, no, this is the phasing one. My bad. This is a Sleep Talk Dragon Tail Roar and Rest set. Now, the thing about this set that I like, since I've got the Rock Smash... Uh, not the Rock Smash, the, 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 the Stealth Rocks. I mean, they're both rocks. you got to give me that uh, on the field. What I can do is I can go to sleep and then I can go for Sleep Talk. Now, since uh, Garchomp's a very fast Pokemon, I can go for Sleep Talk, and then if it chooses Roar or Dragon Tail, it most likely will go first instead of going for second. Then you can, you know, try and phase through the opponent's scene just by doing Dragon Tail damage plus Stealth Rock plus Sandstorm. And you just keep cycling through the opponent's team and doing like lots of damage to them over and over and then, you know, they get very salty. That, that sort of thing. That's the idea. So in comes old Snorlax and it's going to be a big bulky Snorlax. Now, this Snorlax actually caused me a uh, quite a lot of problems. Now, it's probably better, I think, about this Garchomp strategy, to probably use this at the earlier points in the game when you've got more Pokemon to face through, instead of using them probably halfway through the battle. But uh, that's just sort of how this battle went. But uh, usually, I'd try and use this uh, you know, at the beginning of the battle. Now, I'm pretty sure... Actually, I'm very sure I did a Garchomp sweep just using... I think it might have been Mega Garchomp. I only did Raw and Dragon Tail. That's it. And it was like a phasing set only. Um, so if you like Garchomp, you can check that out on my YouTube channel too. That was, um, uh, would have been Mega Garchomp sweet pro like almost like, it was almost like, I guess it wasn't priority, but it was almost like using uh, your negative priority moves like Raw and Dragon Tail first, which I thought was really, really neat. So we got this Snorlax. This thing was hella bulky because it kept using like, I mean, at this point, I was assuming that it was going to be heavy slam because that works well on Snorlax. It was doing a lot of damage, and it was also boosting its defense one stage. So I really couldn't do much here, and Dragon uh, Dragon Tail uh, was blocked by the uh, you know, the power of Dynamax too. Like just another you know really strong thing about Dynamax. I guess that that one sort of makes sense though, because once you Dynamax, if you got phased out by like Roar or something, that would be a little bit lame. So. I guess that one, you know, makes a little bit more sense. But some of the other ones are pretty poker. Anyway, that's the end of my guard top number four there. Now, the next Pokemon I thought I could bring in here is going to be my special guard chop. So, since guard chop was such a good Pokemon, I really wanted to give it a wide variety of movesets to try and challenge myself. I had one, like, really decent set, but that one was, like, sort of like the last Pokemon um, I'd use or back like have it as a backup just in case things went really nasty like someone stacked like you know six ice types against me or something like that so this is my I've run this before lots of times so this is my choice specs a guard chomp it's got good surprise to it I've got uh, earth power fire blast Drake or meteor and surf max speed and max special attack modest nature now the problem about this Snorlax is it's going to be having a berry and this Snorlax was also very, very bulky too, as, you know, most Snorlax are. And it's going to have amnesia, so I'm like, oh, that's actually really, really bad. So this is going to stop me completely in my tracks. I absolutely have to swap out because I've already lost uh, two stages on the Draco Meteor. And the Snorlax got two stages of amnesia, so I'm going to be doing like two damage, so I've got to swap out. So we're going to go to Garchomp. This is the shiny one. Wow, such a, such a big difference. Also, um... Chekosaurus did ask me to play Baby Shark as the background music uh, during this battle, but unfortunately I couldn't do that. I'd like to do that, but I get my ass copyrighted. So, you know, I'm sorry, my man. I, I tried right there. But um, maybe maybe you could, you know, open another tab and listen to both at the same time if, if you want to do that. So we're going to go uh, for a Home Claws guard jump. This is a... Uh, this is a pretty good set, but it's pretty fun with Home Claws. I thought I'd still try and do uh, a little bit of an uh, interesting moveset on this instead of the Sword Dance set. I like this set because it's got Home Claws, and I can increase the accuracy of Stone Edge. Sorry, Stone Mist. In this case, it's not Stone Mist because you can land it. I've got Stone Edge, and I've got Dragon Rush, which both have shaky accuracy. So, you know, Home Claws gives you a boost in attack, and Home Claws uh, also increases your accuracy. So I thought that'd be a really, you know, sort of fun moveset to run. And, you know, it still works very, very well. So it's definitely the best set on my team. Now, I've got the Betty Ruskin, as you've just seen there, and I've got Jolly Nature. It's important to run Jolly Nature on Guard Chomp because you need that speed. Guard Chomp always has a way to boost his attack if you're running a physical set, whether it be a meme set or, you know, a competitive set with Sword Dance or Home Claws or whatever you want there. You really need, it needs its speed. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have to go for Dynamax because this Snorlax, like, man, this stopped me in my track. Now, inside, inside, I, I could have gone for Drag Rush there, but I was trying to go for a Stone Edge crit, like, 
I was determined to get the Stone Edge Creek going. And also, I wanted to get the sand up too uh, for my guard chomp. So I, you know, I think I go for Max Rockfall there. You know, drop Stone Dune and his cousin on Snikes a couple of times and hopefully take it out. So here he goes here. And actually, this is interesting because some Pokemon, when they use uh, Max Rockfall, it almost looks like they're pushing the boulder. Guard chomp is literally just screaming at the boulder. It's, it's screaming, fall over now, fall over. So anyway, uh, the sand is going to kick up there. And Snorlax has got Recycle. So what the Snorlax is going to do, right, is just going to keep recycling it's wiki berry over and over again and just be a general pain in the butt you know it's so bulky so i was trying to think what i should do is should i go for a, a dragon type move on my drag rush or should i just keep going for max rockfall and try and put it in range where it wouldn't activate its berry and then i could attack it again and then take it out before it's very actually activated that was that was sort of my plan at this part but then it kind of like start to fail so i thought well i need to actually go for a dragon type move now and get that stab you know what i mean so i saw it's going to get more of its berry back at this stage, they're like, oh, I want to get some damage. I want to see how much Max Wormwind does. So it does a lot of damage, but it still doesn't take out some like. So I possibly could have gone for Max Rockfall again there, and it maybe wouldn't have triggered the berry, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. I've still got options here. I mean, Slax is going to have its, uh, it's got heavy slam, but it's going to have a negative one too. So Slax is going to eat its berry for like the 69th time here. And what's, what's his nick? I thought that said gl Gliger for a second. It's like, Hugh Geek. Let me say that. Let me say that again. It disappeared from the screen. There's going to be amazing pronunciation here, people. Uh, okay, it's not come out. I'm just going to, let's call it Hill Billy. Wait, right, uh, Hill Hill Giggers, Hill Giggers, Hill Giggers. I'm not really sure. Um, so anyway, it's going to go for Heavy Slam. Does very little damage there, and Ruffskin's going to kick it. Pretty much, I got a beat here. I was playing a, uh, um, a uh, it was like a um, like a zombie game, and it was like a, this map was all based on like a uh, sort of like a hillbilly map. It was really interesting. Like it was all these uh, like caravans and stuff like that, and uh, that's sort of where I was uh, getting that from. I just recently played that, so it's on a, it's like a survival um, horror game called uh, Killing Fall. But anyway, uh, back to the battle here. We've got a Trevenant here, and I can simply go for a Dragon Rush. It's going to be very very powerful, and I've also got a good chance of actually flinching, but. No way uh, Tristan Trevor is going to be able to live that one. So bye-bye. Next Pokemon is going to be Jinx. Now, this is the Pokemon I was really scared of in the team preview here. I thought, this thing's going to slide in and go Choice Scarf Powder Snow and just destroy me. But it didn't. And I outspent and took it out with the Stone Mist there. And that, my friends, is the very first battle. Oh, the item on my Garchomp was Yaki Berry. I had to have that on one of them. And, you know, I had a lot of battles with this team. And that worked out really, really well. So thank you, Time Man, for the battle. Really cool team right there. Once again, if you can guess what it is, put a blow in the comment section of the video. Uh, let's get on to the second battle here. This one was against Mr. Guzzle. And this is also a theme team as well. Quite a... It's more of, I think it was more of a roasting one. So the first Pokemon here we got is Alola Raichu. Now, it's quite curious to see what Alola Raichu would be able to do to a team of Garchomp because it's not going to be able to use many Electro-type moves. So the first move it's going to use is Protect. So I'm like, okay, sometimes you've got to use Protection. I went for Scale Shot. So I was trying to uh, get that flinch going. And I was wondering if I'd be able to actually uh, you know, get a flinch with this set. So there's the first one. I got a Chris. Like, oh, that's a pretty good start. I go for the second Scale Shot there. And I only hit it two times. Like, man, that sort of sucks. Uh, the only drawback to using Scale Shot is you do get a Defense Drop. You do get a Speed Rise, which is a bad. Now it's going to go for Teleport. Like, hmm, okay. So it had Protect and Teleport. Interesting. So I'd say it would have to have an electric type move, and I'm wondering sort of what that other move, what like that fourth move was. Swing comes a okay, KFC. Is there seriously a KFC one of like NFT? Like then again, nothing in this world surprised me anymore. So there probably is. It's probably like the Colonel's face with like a monkey on it or something like that. Anyway. Uh, it's not something I'm into. So we've got a Flame Charging Blaze again right here. And it's going to be boosting its speed. I'm like, okay, you see, maybe this thing has Blaze. And I'm going to get some rough skin damage on the Blaze again. Then it had uh, Speed Boost and Blaze at the same time. Like, damn, this is a really, really fast uh, Blaze again. Like, super, super fast. I'm going to go for Jewel Chop there. I oh, still outsped it. And that's our bye-bye Blaze again. I, I guess those, uh, you know, scale shots earlier on definitely helped me up. So next Pokemon to come in here is going to be Steelix. Wait, why is it? Why is Konami still X4? Oh man! Oh, I get it. Um, uh, Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid, right? I, I get that one. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think what the uh, the. I'll, I'll get the other ones in a second. So that's uh, that's the end for old Garchomp right there. I'm, I'm guessing that was a sh uh, sheer force uh, Steelix. That did a fair bit of damage. Uh, next Pokemon. Wow, it's my Garchomp. So what I could do against this? This is my choice specs one. I can go for a Surf here, Surfing Garchomp. I mean, it is a shark. It's sort of appropriate. You know what I mean? So uh, that's going to be the end of the Steelix. 
So bye bye six. Hey, I mean the special defense is is, is garbage, and uh, yeah, that, that's going to be very nice against us. The next Pokemon is Wisma. Why is that called? Okay, if if someone can understand why it's Wisma, something to do with sound. Um, uh, I, I I don't know. Like I, I'm not really sure. So this is going to have Focus Ash Endeavor. Very very nice. Um, this one actually didn't have. Uh, this one actually didn't have a rough skin or anything like that, so our surf is going to be able to take that out. Um, this was a sand veil set, so that worked well in the sand. So bye bye, uh, Wiz. My pretty cool set there with Endeavor. Next Pokemon is <laughs> Skull Buddy, and that's going to go for a Libero quick attack, and that's going to take my guard chop out. So bye bye, guard chop. So I've still got the uh, four more guard chops, so things are looking pretty good right now. Next Pokemon. Oh, it's a guard chop again. So this is. Oh, this is the. Let me think about this. Oh, this is a Twister one. So we got the score bunny swapping out here. And we got, uh, oh, the, the Disney. Oh, oh, okay. Wait. Disney. I'm sorry. I'm having a bit of a, a brain fart today. Like, I I haven't figured out the Raichu and I haven't figured out the Wisma yet. Um, just If you can guess why, just let's put it in the comment section. I always like that. Sometimes I figure them out afterwards. Like, I go back and, like, read my comments and stuff. Like, if you don't know, I like to read my comments on all my videos every day in the morning while I have my breakfast. So... It's always uh, nice to read over people's comments. And I do appreciate uh, people uh, you know, dropping comments too. I always read them. So if you've got something cool you want to say about the video or just in a comment, uh, I really like a reading. It's, it's sort of like my little daily ritual. So anyway, we've got a, uh, a Liberia high jump kick here. This is going to do a fair bit of damage, but I didn't think I'd actually you know, get fainted by it. But that was a critical hit. So that did three quarters of Garchomp's health there. And now it's going to have Sucker Punch too. So that was a pretty nice set. Where Quick Attack and Sucker Punch, lots of priority and High Jump Kick too. So trying to make the most out of Score Bunny with some you know high base power moves and priority you know, when it gets out spent. So that's going to be the end of our little Score Bunny there. I've got one more Pokemon here. And it's going to be uh, Brizzy. Oh, is, I think... Verizon's like an internet or... that's I'm pretty sure that's an internet or a phone service, right? It's, it's not something I have in Australia. So I think that's a, that's a roast towards that. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyway, I'm going to go for a yeah, Dragon Breath here. The thing about uh, Verizon, it actually has some... Um, it's It's got access to Calm Mind, so it's going to be a special set. So with Calm Mind and a Grass and Fighting type move, I pretty much know Verizion's special moveset very well. Um, I mean, I know it's a physical one too, but, you know, I, I know all the uh, the special sides of physical uh, Pokemon because I've been doing it for so long. So normally this thing can carry, uh, like, carry something like Giga Drain and Focus Blast. They're really good moves it can have too, like on the special side. And if it gets a couple of boosts up, it's going to be bad. So it's going to go for Airstream here, and that is going to be the end of my Garchomp. What would that move? be i'd say that'd be air slash it's interesting that it's got a flying type move when it's four times weak to flying as well so and it's also got like really really good speed already so we're going to bring a guard chop here again this is a stealth rock sounds like where what do i do here maybe i should set up the sand song so here comes uh, a couple of seeds that's going to get fired out of its Ooh, i don't really know where that got fired out from no in, in its it's almost its stomach i guess you could say Imagine firing seeds out of your stomach. So anyway, uh, back to the battle here. We're going to get some grass and some leaves flying on the field. I'm going to go for the stealth rock. I thought that'd be a better thing. I might be able to make use of the um, uh, the phasing guard drop. It's Once again, it's a little bit later on the game to do that. I don't know why I decided to put them so late on the game. I think it's like I didn't want to be like... I don't know. I feel like I didn't want to just like use spam roar and dragon tail from the get go. Like we'll hit the 20 minute mark and I've only taken like one Pokemon out. Something like that. Maybe that's why I didn't so do it so often or at the start of the battle. So that's the end of my guard chop, which is fine. There's still more, uh, two more guard chops there in the works. So I'm not really scared of Raichu. I actually, at this point in the game, I was thinking, I don't think Raichu can do anything because I only think it's got an attacking electric type move. But I haven't seen the fourth one, so I wasn't 100% sure. So we're going to have a Giga Drain from Brizzy on here. This does a lot of damage to my Garchomp. And it's going to be able to heal itself up to full health. Not that it really had like a lot of damage done to it, right? Uh, now Garchomp's going to go for a Raw here. I had to go for the Raw to get rid of all of its boost from the Calm Mind. So I thought, you know, that's a pretty good idea. And in comes the uh, the uh, Raichu again. So we're going to take some more damage here. I get some healing from the Grassy Terrain. And the uh, Raichu's going to have the Leftovers too. So oh, it's got the both. It's got Leftovers and the Grassy terrain at the same time now i could go for a dragon tail here that should be able to take out and it's got thunder shock i'm like okay or whatever I'll insert electric type move didn't matter whether it was thunder shock zap cannon 
thunder, anything like that. You know, it wasn't going to be able to hit me. So I uh, did a little phasing uh, there on the Vrision coming back in. It's going to take some more damage. Unfortunately, the uh, Grassy Train is, you know, is practically healing up all the damage I do here. But I also did that to stall out a little bit so I could get some more health back. So uh, Vrision's going to go for another Giga Drain. Since it doesn't have that plus one as special attack, it's sort of lacking the damage it had before. So I was actually able to live that. So bye-bye, Vrision. Some more Stealth Rock damage for you. Hopefully, I can stall out this Grassy Terrain too. That's kind of what I wanted. So some more damage to the Raichu. Some more healing for my Garchomp. Some more healing for the Raichu. And then another round of Leftovers for the Raichu as well. This is one thing I, I'd like for the games in Generation 9, for them to stop the timer Why all the animations are happening, you know? like Because they take up a very, very long, like, I'd say in a 20-minute battle, I'm going to go out and say it almost takes up three to five minutes of animations, and that's a lot, you know what I mean? So that's going to be the end of the Raichu there. It's going to fall off at Surfboard. And the last Pokemon is the Vrision. So I know that I won't be able to take this out with my Garchomp, um, I won't be able to make use of Dragon Tail and Raw and stuff like that. And I was like, maybe they'll try and set up me. I was like, oh, okay, maybe I should have swapped out there. But I did really want to swap out just in case they predicted that and just started going for a grass type move or a fighting type move. So I went for Dragon Tail there. It still did pretty good damage. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Um, they won't be able to set too many Calm Minds up now after this, of course, wish healing them. And now they're going to go for a uh, Giga Drain there. So that's the end of the guard drop. So I've got my final guard drop here my home claws one now i wasn't really sure if i had the opportunity to be able to set up a home claws here so i thought well Vrizia might be able to outspeed me here so what i'm going to do since i haven't dynamax yet i can actually just straight up attack this thing and i believe i should be able to take it out in you know two hits hopefully but i wasn't really sure if this thing did like hadn't actually done any fighting type moves as of yet all it had done was Giga Drain. So like, okay, maybe it doesn't have Giga Drain. Maybe it's got some other status moves that it hasn't used. And maybe it's got, like, I don't know, Substitute or something like that. Uh, now, Brisbane's going to go for a Focus Miss. Look at the damage that did. That was very, very good that I went for Dynamax there. Because that almost did half you know, of my health in Dynamax. Uh, it's actually going to be able to leave my uh, Drag Rush or Max Worm in there. It's going to drop his attack, which doesn't matter at all, considering it's running a special there. Both of the Focus Blast lands there, so I absolutely had to Dynamax in that situation. And Max Wormwind will take out the Vrision. And uh, that, my friends, is the second battle. Pretty cool team there. Uh, but, uh, like, move sets and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the full Garchomp team. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Peace out, people.